Hey guys, welcome in this fifth lecture of this ReactJS playlist. Now, in this uh, lecture, basically, I'm going to discuss in deep, like about the props, right? So I don't think so. Like you guys, if you're watching the first time, if you're using the first time prop, I don't think so. Like in prop, you are you you become uh, good, right? I don't think so. So if you are not good at props just watch this video otherwise you can skip this video and you can watch the next video right okay so what i'm doing what i'm going to do here like uh, i'm going to pass the prop from the component and uh, i will get the you know callback from the you know child component and i will use the callback or callback props in this app.js component right so i'm going to do what like uh, in this prop component basically i'm going to pass the prop and i will get the callback prop right just see okay <coughs> sorry so basically you can see here the prop component right okay so I'm going to okay so let's say alert or some other name prop callback props call back okay so just I'm going to give this props callback right so yes I'm getting this here okay now what I'm going to do here I'm going to give the div here I'm going to tip close yes okay we will get the true suppose that I'm going to pass uh, the value of this you know prop is just a true <coughs> we will get the true value here mm, yes true just a true then we do what Um, we can do what we can get the alert right uh, but I don't want to give the alert from here like uh, I want to render the UI first um, 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 suppose that I will have the h1 tag open and close and uh, hey this is coming from from here to see oh hey this is coming from the prop callback yes I'm getting so if I will do like false I will not get yes I'm not getting so I'm going to give this true and also I'll make like uh, the text will be like this the text will like this can see here this is okay so now I'm going to do what I'm going to use on press okay so I'm going to make the button here actually button only simple button I'm using yes you can see here okay and now I'm using on click I think just on click so I can give uh, this dot um, <coughs> this dot props dot um, let's say call back prop no call back value or like call back value okay so I hope this call back value will be here like then I can do what I can use a arrow function in this this dot call back get callback value get callback value I can use this like this okay and I can use after the render function like this alert 
Hey, you clicked. Let's see. Hey, you clicked. Understood? Okay. Now uh, let's get to uh, um, discuss with the flow. Like you can see, this prop component is already imp imported from, you know, from here to here. So this name, uh, the prop uh, I am sending here, the these, these all are name, prop callback, and these all are props, right? So this uh, and this prop, I am, I have some of the value in this prop I am giving to this component, right? So I'm using the name and the prop callback here. You can see. So I'm checking the prop callback value. If the prop callback value will be true, then I will show the button, right? Dynamically, I'm showing the button here. If the button will be show on the screen, yeah. Okay. So I took this on click event. So when you click on this event, then basically this dot prop dot callback will fire, and this dot props it means it is getting it is going here right so this callback value the name should be same right here here I put it here so when you click on this so this dot props dot callback will fire and then I'll read this from here and this you know function I'm I'm, I'm firing here from here and you click on the button right so when you will fire the button uh, will click on the button then event will fire and then you can see the alert you will be see on this browser right as you can see here from here Okay, so thank you so much guys for watching this video and if you have uh, any, you know, confusion, you can comment down in, below in the comment down section and I am very sure I will reply back in your comment box, right? So thank you so much guys for watching this video and thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much. Thank you.